Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. So I hope everybody's doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, all right, all right. I know you guys have been hitting me up when we talk about the whole Eminem, MGK situation, the update. I'm really flattered, okay, that you hip hop fans are hitting me up and you guys want, you know, little old me, y'all want my opinion on this shit, okay? I'm very, very damn flattered, okay? So as you guys all know, I've done videos about this situation, okay? This is a third installment. So let's start with the whole Sway and Eminem interview, okay? First of all, Sway, I'm gonna need you to drop all that shit in one. He literally dropped a video every day, a 15 minute video, of his interview with Eminem like it was a damn Roots miniseries. You could have put all that shit into one damn package and let us enjoy it, okay? But anything for more ad revenue and, you know, clicks, okay? I know how this shit works. I know how the game works, okay? Anyhow, his interview with Sway, I really enjoyed it, okay? I really did. It was the first time that we've seen Eminem just be open, candid. He didn't come off like the old man of the 90s and the 2000s. You could tell, like, you know, he, he's trying to get into social media. You know, he had a lot of opinions about people like me and regular folks. You know, we all have platforms now. We can state our opinions and, you know, we can rip them a new one if we choose to. And, you know, he talked about that. And he also talked about, like, you know, how much hip hop has changed and, you know, the lyricism and how that's not like the number one factor anymore. But I really love when he went into details about his beef or, you know, so-called beef with MGK and what, you know, to him sparked it and he was saying that you know he had no idea about that tweet until like a year and a half later or something like that that his main issue with MGK was you know just dish shots and little sly shade that he was throwing at him you know on different records you know what I mean so that was like the main issue for him about the whole MGK situation and people start hitting me up yo machine gun dissed you he just dissed you he dissed you I'm like I listened to it I'm like did he really diss me though? I keep listening to it. Y'all, this rap, you're not gods. And then somebody sends me a screenshot of his Twitter. And it says, had some shit to get off my chest. You just rap, you not God. Some shit like that. Yeah. And I was like. A reference to the rap God song? Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, on the song he said, y'all just rap, you not gods. And on Twitter he said, you just rap, you not God. Had some shit to get off my chest. And I'm seeing, and by the way, this was on the heels of the freestyle he had just did about Shade 45s. Like, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Now, now I'm in this fucking weird thing because I'm like, I gotta answer this motherfucker. He also spoke on Joe Budden. He also spoke on Lord Jamar. So he made a lot of really good points. I really enjoyed the interview and I thought it was really dope how he brought back that old ass, I don't know, record or whatever the hell. I haven't seen a record since I was a damn toddler. Wait, yes. so before we get started, will you please sign this for oh, me? Oh, 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 shit, damn, wow. Oh, wow. Look at how, yo, you look, look like a that. kid. You're a kid there. Damn, man, I was a baby, bro. Um, He brought out that old record of um Sway. I didn't know, I had no idea that Sway used to rap, but kudos to you, Sway, okay? He's been in the game a long time and I love his interviewing skills and I'm glad he was able to get that interview with Eminem. So shortly after the interview was released, Eminem dropped the song Kill Shot, okay? And when I tell you Eminem went in, I am here for all this white on white crime, okay? I keep telling y'all, I'm here for all this shit, okay? I think Eminem did a good job. I think it was a good response. Is it the best diss track ever? No. Nah. Hit him up was. I don't give a damn what none of y'all say. Hit him up is definitely number one for me, okay? But I definitely like this. You know what I mean? I love how he changed his flows. He threw a lot of stuff back in MGK's face. I was definitely digging it. But there's one controversial line that caused a lot of controversy online. And when I tell you Jay Electronica was not here for the fuck shit, he called out Eminem for this line that he said about Diddy. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys that line. I'm going to show you guys what Jay Electronica had to say. Go ahead and check this out. So Jay Electronica took to Twitter. This was the day after Kill Shot was released. And he at Eminem. He says, at Eminem, how dare you accuse Diddy of killing Tupac? 
while you completely look past Jimmy Iovine and those who profited from his death the most. You best tread carefully, son, before I come and tear your ivy tower down like Suleiman done in the Templar of Knights. So when he said that, all of a sudden, Royce the 5'9", honey, he threw on his cape and he came running full force to come rescue Eminem. And this is what Royce the 5'9", had to say. Check this out. So Royce the 5'9", says, I dare one of you niggas to write something. I'ma light your ass up like a jack o lantern Mind your business. I'm not Jay Electronica, damn it. I'm not scared. I'm about to state my damn opinion, okay? First of all, can somebody tell me where the hell Jay Electronica went to? I went to go to his Twitter page to go grab a screenshot, and his entire Twitter page is gone, okay? I don't know if Eminem did that shit. I don't know if it was Royce the 5'9", but his whole social media page is gone on Twitter. It's almost like Jay Electronica never existed, okay? I'm like, really? Did the Eminem fans attack him that hard? Did Jimmy Iovine come for his neck? Did they tap Jack on the shoulder and say, delete that man's entire Twitter account? If you go right now looking for Jay Electronica, he's nowhere to be damn found, okay? So first and foremost, that's my first damn question, okay? My second question is this, okay? I love Royce the 5'9". He can rap his ass off. He has skills, okay? But I'm confused. Like, why do these black dudes always cape for Eminem? I understand that's your homeboy, okay? But let him hold his own damn nuts. He's a grown-ass man, okay? That kill shot was fire. He came back with fire against MGK. Let him hold his own nuts. People have the right to, you know, to, like, have an opinion. Like, why? Because Jay Electronica says something. Now he got to be all types of niggas and niggas better watch their mouth and mind their business. Why does it have to go there? Why can't he just be a man pointing out a fact? You want to call out Diddy, but what about Jimmy Iovine? You know what I'm saying? He said nothing but facts in that damn tweet. Now, y'all know I still give Diddy the damn side eye. I always have and I always will. I don't give a fuck. I'm not under Revolt TV, okay? I'm under Lovely T TV. I've always given Diddy the side eye. I've always felt that Diddy was shady. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, unless you have damn proof, I definitely see where Jay Electronica is coming from. Like, you can't just call out Diddy and then ignore all the people who have their hands in the pot at death row, okay? But we all know that Eminem is very cool with Jimmy Iovine, so of course he's not going to call out Jimmy Iovine. And even at the end of the song, Eminem said it was just a joke and that he loved Diddy, okay? But I just don't like the fact that any time that a black person presses Eminem, all of a sudden, here comes his crew with cape sign. If it's not Royce the 5'9", it's the big one with the damn shower cap. Bizarre. <laughs> he was sitting there going in on Twitter the other day on people who had shit to say about Eminem. And it's like, dude, Eminem is a grown man, okay? He's not a god. He's just a regular man. Let him handle his own beefs. Why do black men always feel the need to stick their neck out for Eminem? Nobody can talk about the goat. You talk about the goat. We're coming after you. It's just an opinion. Simple as that. There's been, you know, some stuff I have not been feeling about Eminem, and there's other stuff I like about Eminem. People are entitled to their opinion at the end of the day, okay? It should not affect Eminem that greatly. Y'all should not get that upset. And poor Jay Electronica. Jay Electronica, if you don't bring your ass back to damn Twitter, don't let these folks scare you. Erica Badu, go get your baby daddy, okay? Tell him to bring his ass back on down to Twitter. Stop letting these damn Eminem stands scare you. Don't let Royce the 5'9 get in your damn head. You tweet your damn heart out, okay? Tired of this bullshit. People are allowed to have damn opinions. Anyways, back to Killshot. I loved it. Thought he did a great job. Now on to MGK. Now, as you guys know, I gave MGK a lot of props recently. I was happy to see somebody, you know what I'm saying, actually come for him. You know, this, this is what hip-hop is about. It's not, a, it's not a kumbaya fest. It's cool if y'all's cool. If you guys got beef, take it to the studio. Put it on wax. That's the air I come from, okay? So I love the fact that MGK was willing to basically call out Eminem, okay? So MGK finally responded. And when I first saw this response, I thought it was really funny. I said, well, damn, MGK got that many damn fans? Was Rap Devil that much of a hit? Because I know a lot of people weren't really fucking with MGK before Rap Devil. I'm like, he's selling out whole arenas now? Like, I was kind of surprised to see him on stage and taking this picture and writing this shit and talking about it was a leg shot. Y'all go ahead and try out these pictures real quick. Check this out. Alright, 
y'all just seen that damn picture, okay? So I thought it was kind of funny, okay? And then one of my tea sippers, we're going to call her Z, sweet girl. She ended up sliding into my damn DMs this morning and basically let me know that MGK was fronting, okay? He was not the opener at that damn event. He was not the main event, okay? He was not the star of attraction. All of those hundreds of people in the audience were not there to see MGK, okay? The way he made it seem is that that was his stage and these were all his damn fans, okay? She spilled some damn tea in my DM. Let me know that that was not MGK shit, okay? It was Fallout Boy shit. And then she sent me tweets and screenshots of people who were there basically blasting MGK and saying, you know what, let's talk about this shit, okay? So you wanna tell Eminem, let's talk about it? No, we gonna talk about this, MGK. Why are you over here damn fronting? How you gonna use Fallout Boys fans as a way to get back at damn Eminem? That's just damn fraudulent. Anyways, after he took that picture, he then proceeded to start rapping his song, Rap Devil, and got his ass booed, okay? Once the audience realized that he was using them to attack M via social media. Y'all go ahead and check out this fuck shit. Check this out. Well, I gotta say. Honey. Now that's a hot damn mess, but you know what? I'm here for it, bitch. So anyhow, that's going viral now. So MGK is definitely having egg on his face. But what's even crazier is that somebody sent me this screenshot. If you guys don't know, MGK's real name is Colson. This guy's a gangster, his real name's Colson, okay? Y'all remember that damn line in 8 Mile, don't look at me strange. Except for Colson, it was Clarence. Anyhow, this is what's crazy, okay? When you go to look up who wrote Rap Devil, MGK, aka Colson Baker, had a damn co-writer. When you go to see who wrote damn Kill Shot, it simply says Marshall Mathers. Check this out. Really, MGK? Really? You needed help to write that simple diss? Y'all know how I feel about rappers writing their own shit, okay? I'm not saying you can't get help with the ad lib. I'm not saying you can't ask your homeboy in the studio, does this sound good? Should I add that? But this dude literally has a co-writer on the song Rap Devil. And a lot of us miss that. A lot of us did not know that. A lot of us don't check credits because, you know, right now everything's online. It's not like we're getting a hard CD case. We can see the damn name. But yeah, he had a co-writer on Rap Devil. So unfortunately, sir, um, you are disqualified. I cannot give you sole props for Rap Devil, even though I love the song, because you didn't write the whole thing yourself. You had help, okay? Eminem with Kill Shot, he had no help. So Eminem <laughs> wins this battle, literally by default, because I can't respect the fact that he had a co-writer. It's still a dope song, though. Still a dope diss track. I don't care. I do like it. But the fact that he had help with this diss track, I got to give you the side eye, Okay. And the fact that he's also lying about the people who are coming to see him, um, those were not his fans. Maybe like there was a small percentage of his fans there, but the majority of the people there were Fall Out Boy fans. And for him to try and do that, like they were all there for MGK, was just goofy as hell, okay? You're a bit too old to be doing shit like that. I expect that from the little pumps who are 16, 17, 18. I expect that from all the little littles. I don't expect that from MGK. You've been in the game too long to be front like that, boo. So anyways, that is my opinion, okay? <laughs> I have fun when I talk about hip-hop. It's not that serious to me, okay? I, I, I love hip-hop. I have fun with my damn reviews. I sip and spill tea as I talk about hip-hop. That's the type of shit I like to do when I get up on here, okay? I don't take it that serious. But yeah, like I said, I enjoyed Kill Shot. I thought Eminem did the damn thing. He definitely wins that round. He came back hard. He wrote everything his damn self. But with that being said, I'm gonna need his black crew to fall the fuck back and let him hold his own nuts, okay? I need y'all to stop caping for M anytime somebody comes for him. He is more than capable of handling his own business. He's more than capable of responding back to a J Electronica, okay? Thank you, Royce. We love you, baby. You can rap. Just stop caping for M, okay? It, it, it's starting to get on my damn nerves. That's just me keeping it all the way damn 100. Anyhow, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning MGK fronting like a motherfucker on stage and Eminem responding to MGK's rap devil with Killshot. Are you here for Killshot? 
Are you here for Rap Devil? Which one do you like better? And then how do you feel about Colson Baker using a damn co-writer on Rap Devil? Yeah, I had to bring that little bit of tea because I didn't hear nobody else talking about this shit. And then last but not least, will y'all contact Erica Badu and tell her to tell her baby daddy to come back on damn Twitter? Don't you damn let them people run you off of Twitter, J Electronica. Fuck that shit. You said what you said. You tell them damn stands to stop atting you. Like I be telling you all the time on Instagram. I said what I damn said. Don't at me, bitch. Okay? Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. All right, deuces. <laughs> hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.